So Sri Aurobindo is now telling us that uh, that the Purusha considers himself a supernumerary on the mm. property stage. Yeah. So the divine sacrifices himself to allow the divine Shakti all the freedom to create all the universes mm. and everything. Mm. It's an important line. Mm. So we'll carry on. So page 62, um, book one, Canto Four, Secret Knowledge. A supernumerary on her stage, he speaks no words or hides behind the wings. He takes birth in her world, waits on her will, divines her enigmatic gestures sense. The fluctuating chance turns of her mood. Now, the fluctuating chance turns of yes. her mood. The, okay. Works out her meaning, she seems not to know, and, and serves her secret purpose in long time. Mm. Uh, so we'll go through that. That's... He, he takes birth in her world. The, the divine Purusha accepts to, although he's, he's all and he's more than the all, he accepts to take birth in the divine Shakti's world. And, mm -hmm. and he waits on her will. And he will do whatever she wants. He divines. Divines means... Um, to understand from the divine and then act, like to to tune in yeah. to the will of the divine. Yeah, that's pretty good. He divines her enigmatic. Enigma is something yeah. of a puzzle, huh? Yeah. He divines her enigmatic gesture sense. So whatever she decides, he's able to understand that her enigmatic gesture sense. Mm. So whatever she does in the world, he's able to understand that. Yeah. He divines that. Yeah. The fluctuating chance turns of her mood. It works out her meanings. She, she seems not to know. But the word here is very important, seems. Mm. Because she knows everything. Mm and serves her secret purpose in long time. And what is that secret purpose? To manifest the divine in this world. Mm. To create the life divine here on earth. As one too great for him, he worships her. He adores her, has as his regent of desire. He yields to her as the mover of his will. He burns the incense of his nights and days, offering his life a splendor of sacrifice. A rapt solicitor of her love and grace. For her love and grace. For her, a rapt solicitor for her love and grace. His bliss in her to him is his whole world. He grows through her in all his being's powers. He reads by her God's hidden aim in things. Uh, so this whole thing now for pages is going to be about the two who are one. Mm, okay. So what he says here is now, as one too great for him, as one, he doesn't make a definitive statement very often. He will say as if, 
as one, as one too great for him, he worships her. Mm. How can the divine not worship his own force? Mm. And serves her secret, works out her meanings she seems not to know. Well, he, he has to work out the things that she seems not to know. That means that the Lord is present mm. in every action of the universe, even, mm. even though it's the action of the divine Shakti, Prakriti. Mm. So he has to work things out also. Yeah. And then, as one too great for him, he worships her. Mm. Now, it's say, is that possible? <laughs> he, 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 he has created her. He mm. is, I mean, it is his force in the world. So you can see this beautiful play that's going on. Mm. It's one too great for her. He worship her, worships her. He adores her as his regent of desire. He yields to her. So we say he worships her, he adores her, he yields to her. See those three lines? Yeah. Sri Aurobindo is making this very clear. Then he burns the incense of his night and days, offering his life a splendor of sacrifice. Offering his life splendor of sacrifice. Did you read a rap solicitor? Yeah. Okay, a rap. There was one word that, oh, yields. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yields. You say yields. 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 Yeah. yields. No, yeah. 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 You. 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 Yields. 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 Think of you and think of yields. Make the Y yield. very clear. Yields. That's better. Okay. Yields. yields. Okay. A hey, rap. Solicitor for her love and grace. What is a solicitor? Well, you know what a solicitor is. One who, one who asks for something. A, a lawyer mm. could be a solicitor also, is a solicitor. Her bliss, his bliss in her, to him, is his whole world. He grows through her in all his being's powers. His being's powers are everything. And yet, because she is the creatrix, mm. he grows through her in all his being's power. He reads by her God's hidden aim in things. So first we began with He's a supernumerary on her stage. Yeah. Then we, we have even above that, he too wears a diminished Godhead here. He has forsaken his omnipotence, his calm he has foregone, and infinity. He knows only her. To her he abandons all. He hopes to, in her to find himself anew. So this is the feeling of the game, mm. of, of the play, of the magic play of Purusha and Prakriti. And so it continues on, and it will go on for a long time. So please carry on. Can we, can we also say in the similar lines how he says, to her he abandons all to make her great. He hopes in her to find himself anew. With that, can we also say like, uh, like how we have the divine residing within us, but where we completely forget and we have this uh, yearning to rediscover him through her in us. Can we equate this line to that as well? 
is is he playing through each and every being to discover her actually when mother speaks of herself and sri arbindo she says when you can finally know that there is no difference in me and sri arbindo you will be on the path mm. so to discover one is to know the other mm. Yeah. Way Sri Aurobindo to go, Sri Aurobindo says, is always through mother. Mm. He has, if you will, delegated the work of creation to her. Mm. Yeah. My question was really like how um, how we have their essence in us. how we hold them within us how each of us hold them within us um but we really forget because we are caught in the world um so through because here somewhere he says that um he grows through her in all his being's powers so the essence of him in us to find her through the through the actions there is a discovery Uh, to find he hopes in her to find himself a new so through the nature or through the actions how we how we have this um yearning to discover the deeper spirit in us that that was what i was asking like can we say this is also like not just mapped to him and her to the purusha and prakriti but also to all the beings uh, that purusha has manifested himself as in prakriti it's a bit of a stretch but it can be you can think of it as in that way also it's okay. more pers- it's a more personal way you're thinking of it uh-huh. and this is a a more universal way that he's speaking understood understood yeah he he is he is speaking really of him and her yes yes okay and yeah so i continue please yes or a courtier in her countless ritu oh i don't know that word uh-huh. ritu ritu ritune no retinue a ret ret retinue retinue yeah or I, I, a courtier I, in her countless retinue yes content to be with her and feel her near he makes the most of the little that she gives and all she drapes with his own no, delight she does with all she does no and drapes, all she does and all she does drapes with his own delight a glance can make his whole day wonderful a word from her lips with happiness wings the hours he leans on her for all he does and is he builds on her largeness uh largesses largesses yes he builds on her largesses his proud fortunate days and trails his peacock plumaged joy of life plumaged plumaged and sons in the glory of her passing smile well, i didn't so quite well. get that paragraph i'll read again but after your explanation okay or a courtier in her countless retinue the retinue is retinue is the group of people around a a, a queen or a king Okay, like an entourage. Like an entourage, you could say yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's a retinue, and he's just a courtier there. He's just okay. one. Of, he's just one of them in that whole retinue. Okay. Or courtier in her countless, countless, countless can be millions. Yeah. 
countless retinue. He is content to be with her and feel her near. He makes the most of the little that she gives, and all she does drapes with his own delight. So her actions, he drapes. You know what drape is, right? So he, yeah. he, he drape is covering something. He covers with his own delight. A glance, even from her, can make his whole day wonderful. A word from her lips with happiness wings the hours, wings, soars the hours, soar. He leans on her for all he does and is. He builds on her largesses, largesses, this, this great giving. I'll, I'll check for sure the correct definition of largesses for you. I, I know what it is, but I'd like to have it a little clearer. Okay, largesses, largesses. The generous bestowal of gifts, favors. So this generous bestowal of gifts, he builds on those gifts, his, his proud fortunate days, and trails his peacock plumaged joy of life. Plumage is the, is the is the colors of the birds, the, the wings, the feathers. That's mm. the plumage. The plumage is the feathers, mm. colorful feathers that bedeck all birds. And he trails, see, he even, see, he uses the idea of the peacocks trailing uh, plumage. You know, the peacock's tail when he's walking. Yeah. When he did yeah. that raise yeah, it. When yeah. Just walking along. He trails his peacock plumage joy of life. Mm. So he trails that. Mm. And suns in the glory of her passing smile. How beautiful. Mm. He suns. He suns in the glory of her passing smile. Meaning he really shines in her glory? Yes, he, he, he suns in it. it. It lights him up like the sun. He yeah. suns in it, yeah. yeah. Now, the last four lines. Very important. Uh, should I read from top or just the last four lines? You can read from top. Yeah. Um. Or a courtier in her countless retinue, content to be with her and feel her near. He makes the most of the little that she gives, and all she does drapes with his own delight. A glance can make his whole day wonderful, a word from her lips with happiness wings the hours he leans on her for all he does and is he builds on her largesses his proud fortunate days and trails his peacock plumaged joy of life uh, let's check plumaged uh, um, um, I'll go into uh, the British Dictionary as we always said, plumaged, and British could be plumaged. No, it's plumaged. It's plumaged. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Sorry, uh, I, I did not register it also. Plumaged. Uh, so then we don't need the dictionary. All right. And trails his peacock plumaged joy of life. And suns in the glory of her passing smile. In a thousand ways, he serves her royal needs. He makes the hours pivot around her will. Makes all reflect 
her whims all is their play this whole wild wide world is only she and only he and she yes so this is very important in a thousand ways he serves her royal needs royal needs regal royal mm. uh, he doesn't serve lower needs he serves her royal needs yeah and he makes the hours pivot pivot around her will they pivot mm. and makes everything reflect her whims all is their play mm. this whole wide world is only he mm -hmm. and she such beauty we have a little time if you'd like to continue on a bit yeah this is the knot that ties together the stars the two who are one are the secret of all power the two who are one are the might and right in things his soul silent supports the world and her his acts are her commandments registers commandments Happy commandments okay his acts are her commandments registers happy inert he lies beneath her feet his breast he offers for her cosmic dance of which our lives are the quivering theater and none could quivering Quiver. quivering and um and which, none of which our lives are the quivering theater and none could bear but for his strength within yet none would leave because of his delight so beautiful ah uh. With yeah like you said it's just now the play between the two this is the knot that ties together the stars mm -hmm. the stars are not alone mm -hmm. space there is something that ties them together and mm -hmm. what is it it is the divine and his shakti the purusha and prakriti ties all the stars together mm. the two who are one and this is what i was telling the, you you previously that mother yeah. said we are one there is one. no difference yeah are the secret of all power the two who are one are the might and right in things now those two lines tell us that the dual avatars have come to the earth for the first mm. previously there was only one mm. it was a christ or a krishna mm. or there were the early avatars the, the boar the fish the amphibian but there were only one thing mm. to to enable humanity to progress it was necessary for the dual avatars to come down mm. Mm. and therefore the two are one who are one are the secret of all power mm. might and right in things now what happens in that play of theirs his soul which is silent supports the world and her he supports the whole world and he supports the creation the creatrix mm. of the world mm. how does he do that well his acts are her commandments registers so actually he lies beneath her feet and 
there's another passage in Savitri where where she actually dances on his chest. Mm. So his breast he offers for her cosmic dance. There it is. Mm. And what is that cosmic dance? Our lives, which are the quivering theater of this dance. Mm. So see all of humanity as a theater. And, yeah. and the Lord lying outstretched infinitely and the Divine Mother dancing on his chest. Mm. I'm sure there are many, many Indian symbolisms that we'll get into with Vladimir. Yeah, yeah. But I, at least it gives you the idea. And then he says two interesting lines here. And none could bear. That means none of us could bear this. Mm. But for our strength within. Mm. Yet none of us would leave because of the delight of this yes. evolution, of this evolution. Yeah. Yeah. This evolutionary dance, we could say. Yeah. Some have left, like the Buddha, those who have entered into Nirvana and did not want to come back. But those of us who are here in this earth, with all the pain, with all the sorrow, with all the challenges, with all the suffering we've had to go through, we wouldn't leave it. Mm -hmm. It's just too miraculous and beautiful mm -hmm. experience to be here in a human body on the earth. His works, his thoughts have been devised by her. His being is a mirror vast of hers. Active, inspired by her, he speaks and moves. His deeds obey her heart's unspoken demands. Passive, he bears the impacts of the world. As if her touches shaping his soul and life. His journey through the days is her sun march. He runs upon her roads. Hers is his course. His works, his thoughts, everything have been worked out. Everything has been worked out by the Creatrix, the Divine Shakti. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm. He is behind it, no doubt. His being is a vast mirror of her. Mm. And active because he's not totally static. The divine is active in the world. Mm. He's not static. He's not. That's what Mother says is that some pray to a very distant, unmanifest force they call God. Others pray to one who is an old man with a beard and dispenses a hell in heaven. Others pray to a form that they identify somewhat with, their hu with the human body. And there are many, many ways of approaching him. So many ways of approaching him. So here, so here he is active and he even speaks and moves inspired by her. Mm. Interesting. His deeds obey her heart's unspoken demands. Mm. Whatever she wants, 
his deeds obey what she mm. wants. Mm. Uh, passive. So when he's active, he's inspired by her and he speaks and moves. When he's passive, he bears the impacts of the world as if her touches that shape his soul and his life. It's, it's very... You see, Sri Aurobindo had to bear everything in the world. Mm. He, and we will get into this as we go deeper and deeper into Savitri, mm. he had to suffer everything. And that's why Mother has put on the Samadhi those great words. We should never forget, even for a moment, all he has done for us. Mm. Because he said, if I didn't take a human form, what good would it do you people? You wouldn't, you would see me as a god and that's all. Mm. He takes a human form. His leg has to be broken because he's protecting mother. Mm. He has to retire within after mother comes to run the ashram. All these things he has to do in a human form, the mm. in, in a human form, so mm. that we humans could better understand him. And that's why mother came also, because mm. we, we, could, we could appreciate her as our mother, mm. our real mother. Mm. I've never had another mother than this mother. I've had a physical mother, yes, but that's meaningless. Maybe I learned a little from her, maybe not. Maybe mm. things that I that I know should not be done in the world. But with mother, it's different. Mother is my mother, as India is my land. Mm. His deeds obey her heart's unspoken demands. Passive, he bears the impacts of the world. As if, here again, as if, as mm -hmm. her touches shape his soul and life. We can go on just a little more, next six lines or so. As if her touches shaping his soul and life, his journey through the days is her sun march. He runs upon her roads, hers is his course. A witness and student of her joy and dole, a partner in her evil and her good. He has consented to her passionate ways. He is driven by her sweet and dreadful force. So here we see something that most Westerners could not understand. And we have to take a look at it carefully. Mm -hmm. So as if her touches that shape his soul and his life. His journey through the days is her sun march. A sun march has to be a march of, filled with light. Mm. Sun march. He runs upon her roads. Hers is his course. So his course is her course. Mm -hmm. He is a witness and he is a student, isn't that interesting? He's a student of her joy and dole. What is a dole? I don't know. What is a dole? Uh, something that's given out. Okay. Uh, guy gets a guy gets a raise at work. That's a dole. Okay. Yeah. And he's also a partner in her evil 
and her good. And this is a tough one to understand. Mm. When mother gives us, tells us that parable of the four angels that were sent down to earth, the four great beings, and that's a story you should really read. Okay. Because she speaks of all of them coming down and suddenly they're aware of their power. Mm. And good turns into evil, love to hate, truth to falsehood. And then she has to send down another group to counteract that. Mm -hmm. so he is a partner in her evil and her good. Mm. And he has consented to her passionate ways. Mm. Actually, he's even driven by her sweet and dreadful force. Here we have contrasting words, dreadful and sweet. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the, divine, the Divine Mother is everything. Yeah. She yeah, he also contrasts before also, a partner in her evil and her good. And so her dreadful force is that of Kali. Yeah. Which has to break things in the world so that uh -huh. the new can come forth. Mm -hmm. And her sweet force we already know so much. Yeah. Especially those who have met Mother. Mm-hmm understand that. But I also felt her dreadful force, too. I felt Kali's force also. Okay. It was a powerful experience for me. It stung me for years until I realized that even that is a great blessing. Mm. That the mother would take the time to write to me something that would help me progress. So, I've been party to that force also. Mm. So, this marvelous, marvelous passage is going to go on for one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Until <laughs> at the end of page 69. Okay. He begins this this uh, image that I told you about of the sailor on mm -hmm. the flow of time. And it is an extraordinary thing. I mean, you will be so happy to go through this. Okay. It's all beautiful. All of it is beautiful. And 